you guys, welcome. Today is Swiss Arabian Day. So many of you lovely ladies have been asking me to kind of go through and share my Swiss Arabian collection. And not till I like put them all together did I realize how many that I have. I mean, it's a decent amount, it's nothing crazy, but there are quite a few. So what I'm gonna do is start off with the ones that I love and just kind of work down from there. Um, let's see, and I won't go through every single note of every perfume because it'll take way too long. I'll hit on some of the highlights of the notes in each one. So to start off with, my absolute favorite is this one right here. This is a Molly. And this one has notes of musk, vanilla, sandalwood, caramel, amber, lemon, apple, some pineapple. And this one, like it was the caramel and like the fruits combined that kind of made me like gravitate toward this one. And it's so beautiful because it's a little bit powdery, but it's sweet, but not overly. And the dry down is absolutely beautiful on this one. So, and of course the bottle. And this one is a Molly and it's part of a group of four that started with the next one, which is like one of my other favorites right here. This one is Leali. And this was the very first perfume that I got from Swiss Arabian because it was, described as this like really pretty floral, which is exactly what it is with a little bit of sweetness in it. And it's so easy to wear. So I think if you are just like getting started with Swiss Arabian, then this is the best one to start off with. Don't start off with anything too exotic or fancy because I've seen with Swiss Arabian, they use oud in quite a few, even though it's a westernized oud, they still use that note in quite a few of their perfumes and perfume oils. So I think this one is the easiest one to start off with. This one, and I don't have the notes in front of me, of course not, um, it's just a really pretty floral and I know there's some apple in here, some rose. So if you want something easy and pretty, and this one lasts, like the longevity for this one, is outstanding like all of the oils are amazing in terms of longevity so this one is Leali and this is a sister to Amali right here and as I said there were four in the group so the third one here is um, Leali Rouge and this one is not necessarily overly sweet or powdery this one is like tropical it has like a really tropical vibe to it like lemon and pineapple, but coconut is the note in this one that just kind of brings it around to like being more of a tropical and it smells so good. All of them do. I have yet to smell anything other than one that I'll talk about later that I did not like immediately love. So yeah, so this is Le Ali Rouge. And I guess like the little red in the middle kind of signifies that this is the Rouge one. So yeah, this is the tropical. Leali. And then we have one more here that is part of the group. And this one is Uali. This one is really, really sweet. And I will call out some of the notes in this one. You have lime orange, like sweet nectarine, some vanilla, amber, patchouli, tangerine. I have like always thought of this as like a happy scent. It just totally uplifts your mood when you put it on. It's just really nice and pretty. I just can't see anybody disliking this one. It might be a little bit too sweet for some people, but this one is another one I think if you were to start off with, you'd be really pleased with this one. So this is you, Ollie, and it's part of this group of four over here. And I know I said I'm starting off with the ones I like or love the most and kind of working down, but I just wanted to do this group over here together. All right, so that brings me to one that I really love, and this is um, Private Musk. And I came up on this maybe like three months ago. I was going over the notes, and they named them, a few of them, Candy Floss, Caramel, Musk. What else is in this one? I think there's a floral, and Saffron is in here. And it was like the Saffron and like the Candy Floss, which is essentially like cotton candy. That sounded like really intriguing, right? With the musk. So I got this one. It is so beautiful. And I absolutely promise whom, whomever of you that gets this one, you will be so happy. This is like absolutely one of the prettiest oils 
perfumes, period, I have smelled. Just super, super concentrated and the dry down is so heavenly. And I will say it's like unisex, men and women can wear it. I do think it airs more on the feminine side, but yeah. So this is Private Musk. This is a really, really nice one. They have so many different kinds of oils, but these are just the ones that I am familiar with. So this one's really nice. All right, next up, a true favorite of mine. This is Rashiqua. This one is so pretty and different because it's like green. When you get that first whiff of it, it's just like being thrown in the middle of like a garden after it has rained. But majority, you're getting thrown into plants with just like a few flowers here and there. It's, it's just really green. That's all I can say. And it has Lily of the Valley in it. It has some rose, but this just, I almost feel like, as I'm interrupting myself, I almost feel like there's like almost a floral botanica vibe to it because the green and the, the like floral is just so fresh. It's super, super fresh. And I was so impressed with the smell of this because I got it because I thought the bottle was so beautiful. Like. Yes, I did that. But I was so happy to see how good this actually smelled once I put it on. So this one is definitely a favorite. And I do think any of you who either do have this one or might get this one, you're not gonna be disappointed. It's absolutely beautiful. And this one is, it's really potent. It has that potency like Flora Botanica does. Like it's just gonna last for hours and hours. And that is this one. So. Honestly, I think this is one of the prettiest bottles that they have. Um, so yeah, this is Rashiqua, really, really pretty kind of green floral. All right, next up, we'll talk about this one just because I know this is popular with a lot of you beautiful people. Um, Chagraf Oud, this was not a favorite of mine like right off the bat because the westernized oud is a note in this one and it has praline, it has rose, it has vanilla. The dry down is very appealing, but until I get to the dry down, it's kind of hard to deal with a little bit because the oud is prominent. And this is one of those ones where I said, just be careful if you're gonna wear this one to work because it's a little bit thick, you know, it's a little bit potent. But this one, I don't have um, Lancome's Oud Bouquet, but a lot of you all have told me that it's very similar, if not identical to that, because I wanted the Oud Bouquet so bad. But, you know, quite a few of you all have told me if I have this one, I don't need that one. But this one, it's very different. It is pretty in the dry down, but it's a little bit tough for me up front. But I know a lot of you guys do have this one and love it. So this one is very popular and unisex. Chagraf Oud. All right, got some more over here. Um, Casablanca, I know a lot of you all have this one. This is really sweet. It has caramel, it has rose. There's some praline, some um, apple. They just dumped everything into this one. It is not one that I absolutely love because there's a note in here. Let me see. Pear, apple, caramel, soft suede grape, amber, musk, and blonde wood. I'm not sure which one of those notes is throwing me off. When I spray this one, it might be the suede or the grape, but anyway, it's nice. I'm not saying that it's not, I know a lot of you guys love this one, but something in there is just like throwing me off a little bit. So I don't wear this one as much as I thought that I would. I probably may pull it out a little bit more for, um, for winter and fall, but definitely not right now. It's just super, super sweet. So yeah, this is Casablanca. And kind of the sister, I'll say, of Casablanca, just because similar bottles, this is Florence. This one I like, this is like a sweet rose vanilla. And I said in another video, any of you guys who are fans of Lush, this reminds me of um, their rose jam perfume or like their rose jam body conditioner whatever it is it smells identical to that and I like this one a lot I do I need to wear it a little bit more but this is definitely something that I can deal with a lot easier um, than Casablanca it's a lot less complicated so to speak so yeah this is Florence 
All right, another one that can be a little bit difficult. This is Jahir Al Sheila. Really, really pretty bottle. I talked about this in a couple videos. Um, this I made the mistake of putting on and getting on the Metro and, you know, dude in front of me, I think was a little thrown off by the smell. I don't think he was necessarily offended, but it's a little bit strong. So this one is rose. It has some woods in it. There's oud in this one. And it's in a, in a lot of jasmine, a lot, a lot of jasmine. And it's a very pretty scent, but you just have to be very careful in terms of like the dosage and, you know, just be careful with how much you're putting on because this one is very potent. It's really strong. The longevity is definitely there for this one. So any of you all who have this one, um, let me know if you like it. I like it, but I cannot wear this often. It's just like you have to be in the mood for this one. But anyway, this is Jahir Al Sheila. And this one I think is unisex also. More leaning toward the feminine, but definitely unisex. All right, we got some more. Don't y'all go nowhere. All right, this one is Jamila, and I think this one is incredibly beautiful. And the notes here are apple marmalade, some jasmine, sandalwood, amber, vanilla rose. There's some other florals in there, just super, super pretty. The first time I got this, I could kind of smell it through the package, and I was just like blown away at how pretty this is. So I don't see this as being one that could disappoint. This is really, really nice. Yeah. Jamila. Okay, next up we have, this is Zara, and this is like an aldehyde. There is saffron, rose, a touch of oud. This one is really easy to wear. It's not a favorite. I don't pull for it that often, but when you're just running out to lunch or, you know, you just have to run out for a quick errand and you can't think of what to put on, this is perfect. It's just really easy and really pretty. There's nothing spectacular about it it's just really it's just a really pretty perfume oil so yeah this is zara got two more well, okay more than two but don't go yet okay queen this is a dupe of livia bell and i'm gonna stand by that they do a wonderful job it smells exactly like it um the notes are almost identical with the black currant the patchouli so on so forth the vanilla soup it's beautiful and the bottle it took me the longest to understand what was going on with the bottle so that shows you how slow i am but it kind of has like this egyptian queen thing going on and it, that's how slow i am i didn't pick up on it i was not digging the bottle at first but i get it now so yeah this is queen definitely um a very nice alternative to livia bell if you are looking for one this one is my absolute least favorite this is Haifa, and it has rosemary in it it has um some palm leaf some lotus orange blossom jasmine rose i don't care for it i may not have given it a full chance yet but there's something about like the rosemary and the palm leaf it just kind of hits you and i'm not used to either of those notes in my perfumes and it's kind of good to to experience something different i just wasn't quite ready for this one but so beautiful bottle but um yeah and it's backwards beautiful bottle but this was not a favorite um but some of you might love it you know because i tend to like the sweet stuff so the rosemary kind of threw me off but yeah so this is Haifa. And this is an oil. I hope you enjoyed this and ask me any questions you have about any of the um, Swiss Arabians that I have and I will be happy to help you and I'll make sure to list all of these um, with links in the description box. So thanks you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.